How's it going, everybody? My I name is... I have the power! Wait. We have Ryan Welch, Triple J. Um, oh, sorry. No, you're fine. What are you, uh, what are you yelling at on this uh, episode of Intercode Reviews? Um, I'm talking about He-Man. He Revelations. He-Man Revelations. Tell yes. the people, what is He-Man Revelations? He-Man Revelations is He-Man, done by the one and only Kevin Spence. That's right. Coming... Soonish. I was about to say this summer, but we're technically in summer. Soonish. Was it July? August? I don't know the exact date, look but up, it's coming soon. Go on YouTube, look up the trailer, because it's a great clip of, you know, a whole bunch of, you know, scenes all edited together, but it's to the tune of I Need a Hero. Yeah. And that just, it fits. It fits super, super you well. You didn't think it would fit, but it just... Right. right, it's awesome. Lots of action, and I'm sh assuming since Kevin Smith's involved, there's going to be some great humor in there. Oh yeah. Um, so I, I'm assuming this is going to be here to stay. I hope. You know, you never know with Netflix. It could be a one and done season type deal, but I think with the hype surrounding this, it's going to be good. It's He Man. You got to do more. That's right. That's right. So with with He Man Revelations. You can't really have a He-Man series without some new action figures. So Mattel is coming out with uh, Wave 1 of the uh, He-Man Revelations line. And this is, sorry, the Masterverse line. Mm, the so Masterverse. it says Masterverse. Um, we have before you the Skelly God. Um, do we know what the Skelly God is? Not yet. We haven't seen the series. Um, but on the back, it does say, Skeletor lives his life with a singular purpose to control the unlimited powers of the entire universe. Time after time, the bane of Eternia was thwarted by He-Man and the Heroic Warriors. What kind of monster would be unleashed should they be unable to stop the Lord of Destruction? Surely a raging storm of horror and terror even the bravest dare not even imagine. So, maybe some hmm. kind of time travel episode of some kind? Maybe one of those, like, what ifs? Yeah, or maybe... I don't know a lot about what Skelly God is. I right. just saw the figure was available. Thank you to uh, Toy Bro on yep. Twitter for leaking that. That's right, that's right. Um, I mean, awesome figure. He's huge. I'm assuming bigger than the other line that's going to be coming out with Wave 1, which we'll show the back here in just a second. Um... Yeah, it could be, I mean, who knows? Maybe this could be just like in this new series, it's an ultimate form. Mm. Um, we do have a certain sword in here with them. Ooh. Um, so is, that, maybe is that the sword? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe mm. because he stole He-Man's sword that, you know, this is his brand new form. Ooh, ooh, can we do it? Can we do it? What do you want to do? Ooh. 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 Yeah. They, they, lots of, <laughs> lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of interesting lore that could come with this series. Um which I'm sure for a future podcast episode we'll review. Oh. Um, but until then, let's open this bad boy up and let's see what it's all about. The Skelegod is ready to be opened. Um, he has decreed it. The Big Skelly Boy, as we like to call him. Um, <laughs> big Skelly Diesel! Big Skelly Diesel! Um, <laughs> here we go, guys. This is a Mattel figure. Um, as you can see, especially with like... Mattel and the Ultimate line, WWE Ultimate line, mm -hmm. they kind of have these weird, like, interesting cuts into the box. Or not cuts, but, like, folds into it. Um, which I find amusing. I don't know. I guess whatever you need to do, so there's not much, much pack as much packaging, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, has some cool art on the side there. 30 points of articulation! Um, which is pretty awesome. And I just, I'm curious about what that Masterverse thing is. Is that with all the other ones in the line? Is that just for this one? Like, I don't know. I'm intrigued about the 30 points of articulation. Yeah, let's, let's, let's. I want you to count every single one after you open it up. Ain't I got time for that? Nope, every single one. No. If you want John to count every single point of articulation, please uh, go ahead and leave a comment on the, on Guys, the video. Guys, don't hate me. All right? <laughs> like, what? every single one. Let's not do that to John. Are you going to keep the package? Let's up? be friends. I don't know. I kind of want to. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I'm like I haven't opened this box That's, before. Yeah, this so. is this is something new, kind of new uncharted territory. So usually with the with the Marvel Legends, you know to open it from the side. Um, Black series, you know to open it from the huh. from the um, bottom. So oh, a little rip. Oh well, it's okay. Rather so this, do it to mine than to like somebody else's. That's true. So yeah, this is looks like just side entrance. Mm. Lots of tape. You've been warned. Uh, so much tape. You know, we don't need all that tape, guys. I'm just putting <laughs> that out there. So, again, we found this at Target. It is not exclusive. Um, so you can find it, you know, hopefully at your local retailer. Um, 
Either way, there he is. Oh, that's a big boy. Accessories. Different hands. Different hands. Oh, and we got some plastic to keep the arms in place. Mm -hmm. All right, it's all about security. Uh, while you're doing that, I need to find the perfect figure for it to go up against. So we can compare the size. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've got a lot to choose from, so. Uh, I think I found one. Maybe we'll do Dark Revan. Okay. I'll give that a shot. You know, there is such a thing as too much. That's true. Oh. Oh. Interesting. That's different. Okay. okay. Um, is that a magnet? That is a magnet. What? But where's... That might be a first. I have never seen a magnet cape holder. But where... Does it go? That's the million dollar question. Oh. Uh... Hmm. Go lower. No? I feel it under there. Okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, interesting. So it's under his shoulder guards, shoulder pads. Um, that's fascinating. I'm very oh, intrigued by that. He's a big that. boy. Okay, I'm going to move the cape out of the way just yeah, for a second. And now I'm a little not as excited as I was before. Um, it's different. Because it has... Because not only does it have the magnets right here, it has these little plastic pieces I think might help put it in place. Mm -hmm. And then it has weights right here just to kind of keep the cape down. Like, that's really interesting design. I, I'm very, very intrigued by that. Um, okay, here he is. Big Skelly Boy. All right. So I'm assuming that would go... Is that his on the fist? Wow. So, <laughs> hopefully everybody recognizes this sword, because it looks like the Sword of Power. And that goes into a Fist of Power right there. Yeah. Okay. And let's see how easy the... Okay. Yeah, that was, that was easy pretty to, seamless. Boom. Maybe. Maybe not boom. Okay, removing is easier than putting back in. Yes. Okay. No, wait, there you go. I just had to show it who's boss. There you go. Wow, that looks tiny in his hand. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I feel he's like beefy. I obviously we're gonna get some kind of explanation when the when the show comes out, but I'm assuming how He Man bulks up when the when the when he's, you know, yelling out about power. Mm -hmm. Um I'm assuming Skeletor does that as well and he bulks up. Okay. Um, but did you see who I, the voice is? A Skeletor? No. Mark Hamill. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, right? So we get Joker a Skeletor. Yeah, that's exactly. sick. It was meant to be. Um, okay, articulation. So, Obviously, you're not counting all the points, but how's it feel? I'm like not, so but it feels really good. I like that these are loose. Like, the plastic pieces, they're not all, like, glued, so you have more freedom. Mm -hmm. Like, as I was kind of showing there. I like the detail in his face right here. Nice. Like, you can see kind of like that almost kind of like a black wash on the, the teeth and the like the glow effect on the neck he's got kind of an ab crunch okay he's kind of a little bulky so it's kind of hard to do like full-on yeah, arm movement pretty, but pretty, pretty bulky in the accessories those shoulder pads are are like the 80s called and want them back yes it's, it's and i think that's one of the things that i i'm most excited about with this is it's going to take place after the original show and you know, everybody seems like they're like, even this is kind of like homage to the original, like those figures, you had the chest piece that you would put on yeah. and they were held on by those straps. I have a feeling you can take those off. But why would I want to do that? Well, I don't know. Like if, if the shoulder pads are a little too bulky for you, you uh, can take them off, have a little more range. But that's not even connected. Like if you guys can see that, that's, this is a separate piece here. Is it? So it's more just for show. Yeah. Huh. That's all separate. Okay. That's kind of cool. I thought it was connected. Never mind. Negative Ghost Rider. Um, okay, how about those? How about, what about the legs? Obviously, we got some knee bend. Do you have any twists in the calves or? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you get pretty good wiggle room there. Some nice little pivot down there yeah. the ankles. Okay. Pivot. Pivot. Interesting. So. What about the head? 
I mean, he's looking down upon his enemies, as he should. Um, okay, this is going to be the true test, because this guy is going to be wobbly. So, did John set him up right as we do the glory turn? Wow. Look at that. I did it! Nice job. Nice job. Um, man. Uh, nope. Ha. I didn't do it. Wow. Um, yeah. Look. Quick fix though, he's we, we back up. <laughs> you guys didn't see nothing. We could we could have told you that. Um This is gonna be very this is very interesting. Show off that cape again. I I, I don't know why. It's just the design. It almost is looks kinda like a jester cape, like uh -huh. with these little flares here. Yeah. Okay, I gotta figure out how to put this on. Like, it, like keeps it down. You've got magnets on. And there's gotta be like some. Oh kind wait, no, nope, there it is. So there's little clips in there. Oh, so you that got we're the clip holding this it time? on. Yeah. And all cloth. I mean, it looks fantastic. And it's weighted, so it's not flowing everywhere. These actually have a little weight to them, which is nice. That's such a cool design. This guy is a cool design. You can tell. Uh, nice I did, work. I didn't want to get this whole line, but I might have to. I, I think, okay. Let's not do it, go crazy. I think you need He Man at least. I need He Man and maybe Battle Cat. Okay, okay. Now you're going crazy. So. No, I'm not. The thing is, so here is a, is this the custom that you this did? This is a custom He-Man that I made. So I just wanted to do a little comparison. Mm -hmm. It's not too much bigger than mine. No. Which body did you use again? Um, Hercules. Okay. So Hercules, I think, was kind of a bigger... Um, a little bigger. A bigger Marvel legend anyway, right? Yeah. Let's see how he does. So if Darth Revan decided to step up to the plate, um, he would have a real tough time. Wow. <clears throat> Skelly Boy is big. I can't do a Skeletor horse. I was gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's. We're gonna save that for Mark. Mark's going to. <laughs> Mark Hamill is going to kill it. Oh, I'm so excited Man. for that. So, it did what it's designed to do. I think. Yes. It's making you interested in this line. Yes. I mean, we were interested in the show already, but this is pretty awesome. Um. I remember if you guys if you guys do follow Toy News, um, they did like some of the renders kind of leaked or mm -hmm. some early packages. They're really low res. Um, we're all kind of like, this is interesting. Like, kind of a very interesting design. But I, I'm seeing it in person, it. I'm like, okay, yeah, they yeah. did their thing in hand in person. I dig it. Um, you're gonna have besides Skelly God, you have Skeletor, He Man. Evil Lynn and, and Moss Man. Moss Man. Moss Man looks awesome. Yes. Okay, you might... No, no, no. You don't need the whole line. I don't need I just need, if nothing else, just He-Man. Gotta get He-Man because we've got to do a good comparison here and there. Um, so I'm really excited. So, Mattel, hats off to you. It's a really good design. It gets me intrigued and pumped for the show even more than I already was. Mm -hmm. um, and I... I I don't know why I'm obsessing about the cape. It's just the design is cool. <laughs> like, Because he likes it. And it's not flowing. It's, and the weight down at there is keeping yeah. it down. And It's different. It's different. The magnet, like, cape thing? Like, oh my gosh. That's f incredible. Okay, enough talk. I got to stop talking about it. Um, if you would like to go ahead and gush about the uh, cape like I'm doing, um, leave a comment. Tell us how much you love the cape. Uh, okay. Maybe share your favorite He-Man story from your childhood. There you go. There you go. Leave a like. Share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, we would love you to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Um, obey Skelly God, because that big Skelly boy will come haunt your dreams if you don't do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next time.